Okay, here we have our short description of hidden Markov models as part of our overall survey at a very crude, superficial level of machine learning as used in cloud services. I'm your instructor, Jeffrey Fox. Okay, uh, we uh, this really doesn't tell you what to do. It just gives you the essential essence of the idea. Okay, let's suppose we are studying the weather. Well. We could say that at a crude level, we want to classify the weather as a rain or dry, a raining or dry, dry, and then we might have, um, depending some, uh, based on observation or theory or something, some probabilities that if it's raining, it's uh, one day it might rain the following day with some probability. If it's dry, then there's a transition probability to rain and so on. That each of these states has. Um, Probabilities remain the same, or probabilities of transition. So we have a little world defined by uh, two concepts, rain and dry, and probabilities of transition. Now, actually, maybe that's not the right thing to do, because maybe what's important is not rain or dry, but actually the nature of the of the the weather system, whether there's a low pressure system or a high pressure system. And then these are latent variables. These are hidden variables. So if you have hidden variables, low or high, with transition probabilities, uh, then you can make a statistical study of those, and then those would each also trans transform into raining or dry observations with certain probabilities. So we have hidden variables, which have a model, and then we have a, um, we don't have a model for the way rain goes into dry, we just have a model for the way Low goes to rain and dry, high goes to rain and dry, and the model for rain and for low goes to high. So these are these. This is the essential idea, which is true in many of um, many of the things you do. You introduce latent factors, hidden variables, which describe the system. You produce a theory of those uh, hidden variables, a model, and then you have a way of translating that into the observations. So, so we need to distinguish the, the, the variables in the model from the variables that can be observed. And it's the hidden factors that control the transformation. And that's the low and high pressure. And of course, in general, we have a much more sophisticated model. And we need to both find the way that the high and low pressure transform into each other, and we need to um, find the way that high and low pressure transform into the observations. And there is a perfectly reasonable SkyKit learn package, and there's this famous algorithm called the Viterbi algorithm, which is used to uh, implement this. And this is often very important, especially in time series, and uh, like video, video analysis, natural language processing, and speech recognition. And speech is maybe, and, and languages are maybe easier to understand, because there is obviously what you hear is affected by a lot of hidden things, such as what the person was thinking about, what the word he was trying to say. What you hear is the audio, so you don't want to make a model for the actual sound waves, you want to make a model for what was behind the sound waves, which are the hidden variables, which actually well, in this case is what you want to discover. All right, that was real short. And here we are, signing off on hidden markup models. Thank you.